What's up, Internet? My name's Ori. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. You like this video, hit that like button. It is Wednesday, July 27th. It is day 22 inside the Big Brother house. And uh, you know what? We're in a little bit of a holding pattern right now on the live feeds. It's all waiting till Thursday for the big blind side. But uh, we did have some stuff that went down uh, yesterday, so let, let's talk about it. Um, there was a lot of rehashing of what happened, uh, you know, the day before, the aftermath of the veto ceremony. Uh, people were crying about it. Still, they were upset about it. Meanwhile, the leftovers were laughing about it. Um, Monty absolutely loves the idea that people thought he was crying, even though the tears were him holding back laughter and he was crying from laughter. Uh, so it's been just amazing uh the leftovers are overjoyed with how well uh yesterday went and how well they succeeded uh and everything happening today was continued to be hey let's plant some seeds of doubt in the other side right um turner started telling jasmine like yeah look I, three people know right and uh daniel and nicole they might have both knew they might have both knew right and Hey, maybe you shouldn't trust Daniel and Nicole. <laughs> uh, so they've been laying those seeds in there. Monty and Joseph have been doing that as well. Kyle has been doing that pretty much as well, too. Uh, so it's going to be easy for them next week to hopefully have the target either be Nicole and Taylor or Daniel and Kyle. Either way, they should still have the numbers to vote out the other person if they don't win HOH. Um, there was also, speaking of Daniel, uh, the conversation that Daniel and Taylor had. And it was kind of just go over, you know, what Daniel did when he was yelling at her with the whole Nicole situation. And she wasn't necessarily sure if he called her... Uh, anything more than fake, but he definitely was yelling at her, and and it just was a really uncomfortable situation for her. But she is such a good person, <laughs> so they have this convo, and Daniel's, you know, uh, apologizing, but not really. Like he doesn't mean it, and he leaves. Uh, Taylor just looks at the camera, and she's like, "Listen." Go easy on him. Don't hate him. Uh, he's not that bad. She disagrees with what he did, but don't don't let this be his you know worst moment that defines him in the game. She she <laughs> she is a saint. She literally is one of the nicest people. She's being torn down over and over, but she just has this positive attitude and this kindness to her and. It's just it's just amazing that the other side they still they still don't see what they did. Right? Uh, Amira, Nicole, uh, and Daniel especially, Jasmine, they have no self-awareness that yeah, they were they were being dicks. They were being assholes. <laughs> and they don't they don't understand it. They keep saying like, "I don't get why Turner didn't just put the bullies up." He did put the bullies up. You you guys are the bullies. <laughs> they, they were like, he could have he could have just had a house meeting and said that same pe speech about dogpiling and all this and then still put Taylor up. <laughs> what? They they really are uh just completely unaware of uh of their behavior and how it has affected uh the rest of the house and they're still completely unaware. About anything that's going on. At one point the girls were in the back with Brittany. Uh, and they were like yeah you know what. If 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 I go. Uh, then there's a there's a guys alliance. And and we have to you know stick together. And Brittany. Brittany after they leave. She's just like yeah yeah yeah. But after she leaves she looks at the camera like. How? How, how are they not buying? How are they buying this? Like it doesn't doesn't make any sense but but it, it's working it's working the blind side is still a go now being wednesday there's probably going to be some you know talk about like oh you know maybe the vote this maybe the votes that 
a lot of it's fake. Don't even worry about it. Um, the question will be, though, what will the vote be? Will it be unanimous? The, the, the leftovers really want to make sure they can hide their numbers as good as possible. Um, Michael and Brittany, too, they, they're a little bit worried about if it's, uh, let's say, uh, I don't know, what would it be? Six, seven, eight. Like if it was eight to, to three, if it was eight to three, they'd feel worried that like they would get blamed for, for flipping. Um, they'd, they'd really like it to be a completely split vote. They would like it just to be right down the middle and it'd be like, oh shit, what happened? And they can blame, uh, Daniel and Nicole because the idea is to either have it be Taylor, Nicole, Daniel, Kyle. If, if one of the leftovers doesn't win HOH, if one of them wins HOH, they can do whatever they want, right? They can put whoever they want on. If they win veto, they can backdoor whoever they want. They can put Alyssa and Taylor, uh, and, uh, Indy up. They could put, uh, Jasmine and Turner, Taylor, Nicole, Daniel, uh, uh, Kyle. Those would be the, those last two are their kind of their, their main focus, right? Would be, Hey, Kyle's like, screw it. I'll go up. Let's just get Daniel out. <laughs> let's just get them out right uh so it's gonna be it's gonna be fun next week uh to see if they can continue to get this ruse going and after that would they need to hide it anymore or could they just expose their cards it's gonna be interesting to see how this all plays out uh as we move forward uh but yeah i'm looking forward to tonight's episode because tonight's episode will be the veto episode this will be the episode that leads up to the madness that we saw on the feeds. So uh, we're going to get to see Turner's speech. Uh, we're going to see the replacement. We're going to see the formation of the leftovers, which to me, the formation, right? The the night before was almost just as fun as when they were actually get the, got Taylor up that night and actually formed it uh, when the pound was formed. So it was uh, Joseph Monty. Uh, Kyle and Turner, when they actually figured out, they were like, wait a minute, old school alliance is a thing, and these pairs, and they're all working together, we need to get Michael and, and, and Brittany and get Taylor, we need to group up, because if we don't, they're just going to pick us off one by one. I'm excited to see this tall turnout, I'm excited to see the DRs, and uh, I'm excited to hear what you guys think about it as well. I want to give you all just a huge shout out. Um, Recently, I've been shown a lot of support on this channel, and I can't thank each and every one of you uh, more, and I really appreciate everyone who comments, who likes, all of our new subscribers. Uh, there's a lot of new people here, uh, people who have been following me over on Twitch, uh, which will be live on Twitch tonight. Uh, we do our uh, weekly fortnights over there uh, with uh, our Chaos Squad. Uh, but we'll definitely be talking about the episode and what happened uh, later today as well. And uh, it's been so much fun going through all of your uh, comments and what you guys think about going is going on in the game. Uh, and uh, yeah, so for tomorrow's episode, I want to go through all the comments from this week. So put some down there in the comments right below. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Uh, what did you guys think of this week? Because this was... Maybe one of the best weeks in Big Brother that I can remember for a really, really long time. Uh, yes, it seems like we're in you know, the beginning stages of a little bit of a, a steamroll here from the leftovers. But you know what? It's a steamroll that started in week three for the people who were being dominated and kind of realized that they were about to get steamrolled. It's a different kind of steamroll than we're used to. Uh, I'm here for it. I'm having a lot of fun, and I hope you guys are too. Thank you guys once again for watching. If you made it all the way through this video, hit that like button. Hit that notification bell, and you'll never miss a video. You'll never miss a stream. Tomorrow is the live eviction, uh, so we will be here live on the channel uh, for that because that's going to be a good episode too. All the filler before that episode will be the aftermath of the veto. So it's going to be a wild episode tonight. It's going to be a wild episode tomorrow. You don't want to miss those. But once again, my name is Ori, and I will see you next time.